we realize there's many teachers in need and many classrooms in need, and we're, we feel very grateful that uh, KRTV and First Daner Bank has uh, chosen us to be the recipient of the grant. First Interstate Bank employee Christy Cowell and KRTV presented a $250 check to SIM school teacher Raymond Hahn. Hahn says the grant will allow the school to purchase hands-on science labs to assist students in projects like solar panel cars. You had to cut out your the shape of your car and then put your wheels and axles in and and then put the motor on and choose your gearing size. The grant will allow the purchase of 10 new trebuchets and physic machine kits. Clark says this opportunity is extremely better than just reading a textbook. Because in a textbook you don't know how it actually works, they're just telling you, but you can actually learn for yourself, hands on. Han agrees. In a textbook you can read how it works, and when you go out and build it you can actually see how it works. We've, uh, the, for instance, in the solar panel cars, the uh, guys, uh, figured out gearing, they figured out gear ratios, wheel ratios, the angle of the panel to the sun based on where we are located on the Earth's surface, and they get to test that before they make their car and then optimize it, and that's difficult to do if you just read it. In Sims, Devontae McKenneth, MTN News.